Hello everyone on my channel on the 7th sky. In this video I am going to show you how to solve the quadratic equation by the use of quadratic formula. Solving quadratic equation by the use of quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is used to solve any quadratic equation. You remember it, quadratic equation is used only for the solving of quadratic equation, not for the other equation like a linear equation or the other. So, the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And the formula of the quadratic equation is minus p plus minus under root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Yes, all quadratic equation can be written in this form where a, b and c are the constant. You know very well in the equation a, b, c are the constant, x is the variable and 2 is the power of variable. So, you know very well that a cannot be equal to 0. Yes, we have some examples of quadratic equation. Yes, 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Minus 5x squared minus 7x plus 14 is equal to 0. x squared plus 2x is equal to 0. Yes, notice also that all the quadratic equation have a squared variable so better remember it if you doesn't have your variable with the square it means that your equation is not a quadratic aapne ye baat dhyan mein rakhni hai ki agar aapke variable per square nahi hoga like x square nahi hoga to wo aapki quadratic equation nahi hogi or agar kisi equation mein x square i it means that it is the quadratic equation Yes, look at here, x square is important for your quadratic equation. Using the quadratic formula to use. Now we learned how to use the quadratic equation or a quadratic formula for solution. Yes, you remember the quadratic formula? x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a. It is the formula of quadratic equation. Look at your equation below to compare it to the standard form of the quadratic equation. Yes, x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. It is the quadratic equation and you know very well that the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Using the formula, yes, your equation is x square plus 5x plus c is equal to 0 and the standard form of the equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now you compare and find the value of a, b, and C. So look at your first equation. Here is no number before x square. So it means that it is equal to 1. Yes. Second is your b. bx is equal to 5x. It means that the value of b is 5 and the value of c is simple 6. So you remember it. If there is no number before x square, so we always assume 1. So it means that your a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and your c is equal to 6. Dear students, you know your equation is x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. And now you find the value of a, b, and c. So, now simple you put these values in your equation like in your formula here is written minus b so in the place of b you will write here 5 
yes in place of a you write the value of a is 1 in place of c you write the value of c is 6 so simple you put down the value of a b c in your equation look at you x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a it is the formula of the quadratic equation you know very well here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 6 so you replace a b c in the formula yes here you write minus 5 minus is the sign of formula yes b is equal to 5 that is the reason you write here 5 in your equation in your formula plus minus is same the sign of under root is same no here is b squared b is your 5 5 squared minus 4 yes place of a we write here 1 and in the place of C, we write here 6 over 2A. So, X is equal to minus 5 plus minus under root 5 square minus 4, 1 and 6 over 2A. Well done. Your first step is done. You write the value of A, B, C in your quadratic equation. And now you have the second step. You solve these equations. So first of all, we solve the value of under root. Yes, in under root, you have 5 square. So 5 square means 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. It means in place of 5 square, you write here 25. And the second one is 4, 1 and 6. Look at your brackets. Remember it, the brackets show the multiplication. So it means 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. And 4 multiplied by 6, we get the number 24. Yes. So you put these two numbers in your under root. Yes. X is equal to minus 5 plus minus under root 25 minus 24 over 2a. Now you have a simple you simple subtract 25 minus 24. Yes. You get the number 1. Yes. X is equal to minus 5 plus minus under root 1 over 2. Yes. Remember it. 1. The under root of 1 is 1. Peter, yaad rakhe under root 1 ka 1 hota hai. Like X is equal to minus 5 plus minus 1 over 2. Yes, look at here. Very good. Your one have two signs. The sign of addition and the sign of subtraction. So, you write the whole statement with the two time. One time the sign of addition and the second time the sign of subtraction. Now you solve it. Yes. Plus minus minus. Very good. Look at your first statement. Minus 5 plus 1. Plus minus minus. 5 minus 1. We get the number 4. But we know very well. That the greater number have a signs. Yes. Here the greater number have minus. So we have minus 4 upon 2. Peter, aap jante hain. Ke bade number ke saath jo sign hota hai. Hum wo sign apne number ke saath lagate hain. Yes. Now you cut the both number. Ab aapne check karna hai. Here the both number come in the table of 2. Yes. 2 1 is a 2. And 2 2 is a 4. Yes. We get the number minus 2. Look at your another side. Minus minus. Yes. Minus 5 minus 1. Minus minus plus 5 plus 1 6. But your greater number has the sign of subtraction so 6 upon 2 with the sign of subtraction 2 1 is a 2 2 3 is a 6 very good so here we have minus 3 
So the solution set is minus 2 and minus 3. Yes, beta. Look at here. We have some examples of quadratic equation. Now you find the value of A, B, C related to the given equation. So your first equation x squared plus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. Here A is equal to 1. Look at here x squared. Here is no number so we know variable that x squared is equal to 1. B is equal to 4. And C is equal to 8. Okay. You have second equation. 3x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, here A is equal to 3. B is equal to minus 5, not a 5. If you write here only 5, so the answer of your equation become wrong. Okay. And C is equal to 6. You have next equation. 2x squared plus x is equal to 0. Here A is equal to 2. B is equal to 1. And you know very well C is your constant. And here you have no constant. So it means C is equal to 0. Okay. Now you have the next equation. But it is a little bit tricky. Yes. X squared is equal to minus 10. Look at another quadratic equation. All the equation is equal to 0. So it means first we write it. X squared plus 10 is equal to 0. We make our equation. Yes. Then we know A is equal to 1. And B is equal to 0 because the B is X. B is the number with the variable. And here your linear equation is absent. So we write here 0. And the next your constant C is equal to 10. First one is the standard form of your equation. And second is the quadratic formula. So your question is x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. You find the value of a, b and c. Yes, a is equal to 1 because here is no number. Here is only x squared. So it means that your a is equal to 1 minus 3x. Yes, b is equal to minus 3 plus 2. Good. And c is equal to 2. Two. Yes. Now you put all the values in the quadratic formula. Yes. You know very well. Minus minus. Both signs are multiplied to each other. Minus minus plus. Now you write 3. With the sign of addition. Yes. Plus minus under root. Now we solve the portion of under root. Here 3 squared. 3 3 is a 9. Very good. Now we write here 9 with the addition of a positive sign. Because jab hum minus ke sign ko 2 time multiply karte hain, you get the sign of addition. Minus 4 1 is a 4 and 4 2 is a 8. So we write here minus 8. X is equal to 3 plus minus under root 9 minus 8 over 2. Yes, beta. 9 minus 8. We simple have 1. Okay. The next one. You remove your under root. Now, what do you do? Under root ko remove karna hai. x is equal to 3 plus minus 1 upon 2. Yes. One time you write with the sign of addition. And then second you write with the sign of subtraction. Okay. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 upon 2. Peter, you know very well. Both numbers are on table 2. 2 1 is a 2 and 2 2 is a 4. So it means that x is equal to 2. Yes. x is equal to minus. Yes. Now we solve the subtraction side. 3 minus 1 upon 2. Yes. 3 minus 1, 2. 
Yes, both numbers are cut with the 2. 2 1s are 2. 2 1s are 2. We get the number 1. So, the solution set is 2 and 1. Dear students, now you have the second sum. Yes, first you find the value of A. Here A is equal to 2. B is equal to minus 1. And C is equal to minus 5. Now you put all the values in the above equation. Yes. Here is no change. All the things are same. Minus minus 1 plus minus under root. Yes. 1 ka jab aap square lete hai. When you take the square of 1, you get the number 1. 4 2 is 8. 8 5 is 40. Very good. Now you look at here. You have two signs. One sign with the minus 4 and one sign with the minus 5. Minus, minus, plus. Okay? Look at here. X is equal to 1 plus minus under root 1. Look at here your 40. 4 twos are 8. 8 fives are 40. And 40 with the sign of addition because minus, minus, plus. Look down. 2 multiply by 2. We get the number 4. Very good. 40 plus 1. We get the number 41. X is equal to 1 plus minus under root 41 upon 4. Dear students, today we will learn how to solve the quadratic equation with the help of quadratic formula. These all sums are simple. It is not a tricky. Inshallah, I will upload my next video related to the quadratic equation sums. But these sums are little bit tricky. So now you have practiced these all sums. Dear students, I hope that you like today's video. So please don't forget to like or subscribe my channel. Thank you.